What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski and I'm back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be doing the full playthrough of the brand newly released Neo Raid Hancock. Now this character is a little bit different from the original Clash Boa Hancock that we are used to so in this video we're going to go ahead and break down the character and why she's actually amazing and definitely worth farming and also we'll be going through each of the variations the slasher, free spirit, and cerebral versions of this dungeon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So here is the brand new, fully evolved Neo Boa Hancock. This character is an int shooter free spirit character. The previous Boa Hancock uh, that was from the raid was a Psy shooter free spirit character. Now you can see here that she actually has five socket spots. The original Boa Hancock only has three. However, when the original Boa Hancock gets a limit break, she actually goes up to a five uh, socket spot, which is actually pretty nice. Now her captain effect is unchanged. She will still boost free spirit characters at attack and HP by two times. So that's nothing too crazy there, but her special ability did get quite a good upgrade. So uh, it'll go ahead and start at 22 turns and it takes 10 skill ups maxing down at 12 turns and she will lock the chain multiplier at 2.5 times for three turns, which is a difference from her original version, which was a two turn, 2.5 times chain lock. This is a, a humongous change, as this means that you can carry this chain lock through multiple rooms now. So this is a very, very good unit to have. And on top of that, she continues to delay the enemies for one turn, and she has a brand new added effect that the original Boa Hancock did not have, making her own orb and the captain's orb beneficial, or just matching, which is a fantastic ability on a 12 turn cool down and another great thing is that this character will be a trusty character in the upcoming treasure map. Also, the, comparing the statistics between these two characters, this character actually has slightly less HP from the original Boa Hancock. However, she actually does have a slightly higher attack stat uh, with like an additional 20 attack points, which is actually pretty good. And she actually has like four extra recovery points, but that is the only difference there with just some minor stat changes and her special ability is just insanely more powerful compared to her original version. So now that we've gone through this, let's actually go ahead and talk about all of the variations of the Neo Boa Hancock. Now the first of these dungeons that we're going to be talking about is the Slasher variation. Now this is by far the most difficult one that I think a lot of people are going to have troubles with. Along with the Cerebral one, honestly that is going to be pretty hard too, but the Slasher one is really annoying because the new limited rare crit Toshigi is like almost a necessity in order to beat this relatively easily. So uh, on stage 3 here, uh, this is not like the original version of the raid. You'll see here that the enemies put up a three turn paralysis on your crew and they have a three turn blue shield defense up so two characters that help get rid of those effects are going to be the quick diamante and the Psy little oars jr those two characters together i believe are boosted for this event so if you have those that's awesome because they come with less cooldown and extra statistics so those two characters are highly recommended here now on stage four there is just a soul Elder Seahorse, and this is where you're going to be having to activate the special of Limited Rare Recruit Toshigi to give you a 3 turn 2.75 chain lock, because what happens is, is on the uh, stage 5, which is against Boa Hancock, is that she will have 5.5 million HP, and she will go ahead and lock your chain multiply for 4 turns at 1.5 times. So having Toshigi is quite useful to help you, you know, get past that effect. Uh, also, you can see a seahorse or a penguin can appear on stage 4. And also, Toshigi gets rid of the increased damage taken buff that gets put on your crew by the enemy on stage 4. So, Toshigi helps you counter all of those different debuffs that will be affected to your crew. And getting rid of that increased damage taken buff is extremely useful for this uh, actual last room because uh, Bell Hancock does a lot of damage to your crew upon entering that room. And also she will go ahead and change all of your orbs into either uh, strength, quick, recovery, tandem, or block orbs after the first turn and she does that every two turns after that as well. Like before she does recover, she does like 10,000 damage to your crew and also she will make it that she will bind one crew member for 99 turns. So having someone that can just do lots and lots of damage on your crew here like Law it actually helps out in killing the Boa Hancock but obviously because of the strength Kiros we have a 3 turn type boost and uh, this final revive is actually pretty easy to take down.
So now we move on to the free spirit variation of this dungeon. So with this one on stage three, we have the three or the four giant characters once again. And this time, like usual, has the 26 hit barrier on the middle giant character. So you need to make sure that your crew has at least 27 combo hits so that you can actually, you know, break through it to, you know, enable you to actually, you know, do enough damage to the enemy. So uh, having that is going to be quite useful here. And also you see that you get a preemptive attack of strength and int orbs will appear more often on your crew. This is where limited rare recruit Kizaru kind of helps, but you can use sailor effects such as the quick rare recruit Garp and the 6 plus Sabo. Both of those have sailor effects that make those orbs beneficial to your free spirit characters. So those characters, if you have them, are going to be quite useful in this fight. Now, on this final fight against Boa Hancock on the Free Spirit variation, she actually has 3 million health, and her preemptive attack will make it so that she's going to, like, randomly convert your orbs into tandem or block orbs, I do believe, and she also has a recovery buff, where she will recover 300,000 HP at the end of every turn for the next 10 turns. Now, she actually does have a special interrupt as well, so do not use any special ability that has a uh, any type of orb boost, because she's going to remove all special effects, or if you're using, like, Luffy and Ace as a captain, you'd want to use their special first to get all of their manipulation and stuff and then it'll get removed and then you can use all of your other effects so that's just a note to not really bring an all boost and try and rely on other types of boost as i said she only has three million health so she is pretty easy to take down you know you can even use a friend luffy and ace but uh, trafalgar law is really good here because when she revives she has a barrier so having someone that can do lots of damage through that barrier naming this v1 law six plus is fantastic he just does so much damage to that barrier and with the double law special you are able to take down boa hancock very very easily from that front a thing to note about her revive as well is that she actually, along with that barrier, has an attack and defense increase. So definitely having Trafalgar Law is a useful character here, just so you can enable her to kill her very, very easily after that revive. Once again, after the revive, she does actually chain another unit on your crew for 99 turns, but that unit that gets chained is guaranteed to not be your captain. So if you're running the Law Captains, you're not going to have too many issues with this particular fight. And now we move on to the final variation here, which is going to be the Cerebral Dungeon. Now, once again, on stage three with the four giant characters, uh, there actually is a special uh, condition here, which is going to be that you can only use two specials per turn for the rest of the run. And also your captains will both be despaired and chained for five turns. So this is where Int Rare Recruit Koala is going to be extremely useful because her special ability will completely remove all of those debuffs that the giant character puts on your crew. But do note that because you do only get access to two specials per turn on this fight for the rest of the fight, then having someone that can boost your crew for multiple turns is going to be extremely useful here. And the character that is going to be useful is the quick rare recruit Wanda being a three turn cerebral type booster. So she is quite key for making this fight very easy. The final boss, Boa Hancock, has 3.5 million HP, and the preemptive attack of the final boss, Boa, will give herself a 3 times attack boost, so she's going to be doing lots and lots of damage to your crew, and also the fact that she has a 14 turn full debuff protector, and she'll also randomly convert your orbs as well. Once again, after the first turn of attack, she will randomly convert your orbs to like tandem meat and block orbs as well. And then after the second turn, she removes special effects. This one is very similar to the original Boa Hancock. Turns one and two, she does very, very similar things. And below 50%, she has the damage reduction effect, of course, as well. Now, in this fight, there is another uh, specific special interrupt that you guys have to know about, which is the fact that if you activate any type of orb boost, she will specifically remove just that orb boost. So that's quite fine. You can use an orb boost that gives you another type of effect. It's just that only the orb boost will be removed when you activate it. 
on her revive, she's going to go ahead and recover with nearly a million. It's like 800,000 or so HP. And she also will go ahead and paralyze these specific characters, your friend captain and your entire right column for seven turns. So limited rare recruit Hawkins is quite good here. Or having sailor effects like uh, Wanda and special abilities like Shirohoshi to remove the paralysis is going to make this fight a lot easier. And Robin is quite nice here to just help you get through this fight without taking too much damage. So that is going to conclude the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.